the three day rule. Dun dun dun! So everybody knows that you gotta wait a certain amount of days after you get someone's number or else you look like a thirsty, thirsty. motherfucker. But how do you feel about that? Honestly, I think that three day rule is some big bag of bullshit. Um, I feel that if you're feeling someone, especially if I'm giving you my number, or if the girl's giving you the number, the guy's giving you the number, they're obviously interested. So why not just act upon it? Like, don't be desperate and thirsty where you're like, as soon as they give it to you, and like one minute later, you call them. Honestly, that would even be cute, because it's just like, yo, I, I, I really dig you, and I can't wait. Like, I think just being honest and open with your emotions is just dope. You really feel that? So yeah. let's say I'm a random dude. We met at some cafe. I just got your number. I left the cafe and I immediately called you and be like, hey, what are you doing? Or if I text you, hey, what are you doing? Smiley face with sunglasses on. That's cute. Really? I'd be like, yeah, because then I'd be like, oh, okay, cool. Like, I was obviously feeling this guy because then if I wasn't, I wouldn't give him my number. Because maybe that's just the type of girl that I am, but I'm not giving anybody just my number just because I'm bored. Um, I obviously felt some sort of connection that I was just like, okay, well then let's let's see where this goes and I give that person my number. So if they're already hitting me up, then I'm like, cool. It, it gives me a chance to get to know them faster and I don't get to waste my time. So if they start texting me right away and they're like, hey, what are you doing, blah, blah, blah. And then I'm like, hey, actually, I'm really busy. I'm doing this, this, and this. And then they're like, but hey, can we just talk right now? Then I'm like, okay, bad idea. This person's an idiot. Do you know what the problem is though with what you just said? Is if I did just text you, hey, what are you doing? Smiley face sunglasses. And immediately you text back, hey, I'm busy right now. I immediately am gonna think, oh shit, I fucked up. Not I knew I should have waited three days, uh, and now she just shut me down because not I broke that rule. Well, okay, I guess I said it that way to say that like, I, I shouldn't have skimmed through my explanation, but I would obviously be nice and I'd be like, hey, thanks so much, because I know that on the receiving end, there is that pressure for the other person of like this three day rule and don't look thirsty and you're not desperate and blah 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 because I know that I'll be very mindful when I'm replying and I'm gonna be very careful and just be like hey oh my god I'm so happy to hear from you um, I didn't think you would text so soon um, and, you know I'm really happy I would love to talk to you but I'm kind of busy okay so I'm sure that's very refreshing for a lot of guys to hear that there are girls out there that don't really care about the three day rule. I hate and it. as a matter of fact, you can text the next minute. Yeah, like right away. But then on the other end, is there a length of time where you feel like that's too long? Like what's what's on the other end before you start to lose interest? I think it might be like more than three days. Like if it's four days or even the following. So let's just say, week. let's just uh, go with the hypothetical four days. Let's say on four days, I'm like, hey, what are you doing? Sunglasses. Happy face. Well, I wouldn't want to be like a naggy chick and just be like, like already like, oh my God, why, what took you so long? Because I don't want to come off that way. But mm -hmm. then internally, I'd be like, wow, what what took so long? Were you like not interested in me? And that that's going to be something that's going to be like in the forefront of my mind. Like, did I not make an impression on you that you just couldn't wait to talk to me? Like, I would feel like I was lacking in some department in your eyes that I'm just like, wow, what, what took so long? So. But you know, like in terms of, I guess, game, right? It's all about feeling wanted. It's all about having what you can't have. And so the more rare and the more, the less accessible you make yourself, that's where the concept of the game comes in, where if you're less accessible, they want you more. If they're all up on you and they're seeing you like every day at the cafe, hey, what's up, hey, what's up? Then you're like, oh, shit, I see this motherfucker all the time. I don't give a fuck if he calls me. So based off that logic then, fuck, where was I going with this? You're, you're probably saying like, because I'm, I'm trying to flip the script and I'm saying, hey, I don't want you to wait. I want you to tell me how you feel. But then since you're on the receiving end of, of my comments, um, it's going to be real easy for the guy to look like, or it's real easy for the guy to kind of put himself in that friend zone already because he's like making himself too avail available that I'm going to be like, uh, okay, well, there really isn't anything special about this guy. Because if I text you, right? I yeah. text you a minute after. 
think about that feeling, my attention that minute after with the what are you doing? And you're kind of like, you know, like all giddy about just giving your number out. Yeah. Memorize that feeling. Okay. Then think about the feeling of not getting a text for four days and out of, all of a sudden out of the blue I text you. Now think about that feeling after three days of thinking about mm. me of, wait a second, he hasn't texted me. Mm -hmm. Damn, man, was I, was I like not that good on his radar or, you know? Right. Now right. that feeling of be, just because I made myself a little bit less accessible, now you have more of that. That's like, true. No, that I guess, I guess that's true because of, of like, wow, humans are fucking weird. Yeah. That's stupid. And I hate that it works like that because I, I would like to think that I'm a straight up person. And if I like something, then I just go for it. If I want something, I just go and get it. But, but I mean, you do bring up a good point because given the two scenarios, right? I give up my number, the guy texts me right away. Then I'm like, yeah, I'm happy. And I'm like, oh, cool. Okay, dope. We're on the same page. Um, but then the second scenario, I give my number, four days pass, I'm like, damn, what happened? All right, whatever, I guess I just, you know, whatever. And then I hear from you and I'm like, oh, whoa, cool, okay, wait a minute, this is cool. But, and so, but you do like, recognize that there's a different effect. I do, yeah, there is a different effect and I, and I agree with it. But that's not to say and not to discourage anyone because I think the most important move happens right after the, that. So you can either make it or break it with how you carry yourself from that point on. So for example, if you if in the first scenario I give you my number, you text me right away, right? Mm -hmm. And then you kind of like, you give me my space, but you show me that you're really interested in me and you just like, all right, you know, I, I'm sorry, you know, I'm usually not like this, but you're, there's just something about you that's really fascinating and I just want to let you know, you know, but I'm just going to let you go on with your day and hopefully you can call me whenever you have a chance, right? Then you just left the ball in the girls court and now the girls like, oh shit, wow, this is pretty refreshing because the common or the norm is that you wait those three days. So I think in that move, you can still make it work. So you feel like it's actually in the guy's best interest to not do what the norm does and kind of pioneer it and be like, yo, I'm interested in you. Um, yeah. Hit me up when you get a chance. Yeah, I think that's dope because it's just like, you're always, it, it's kind of like that saying, you know, always wearing your heart on your sleeve. It's like, you're always open about how you're feeling. And, and I think you still gain control while letting the other person kind of steer the ship too. Where it's like, this is where I'm coming from. Now, where are you trying to go? Are you trying to go where I'm coming from? Or are you trying to go a different route? Let's see where this where this takes us. And I think, I think for me, I, I'd like a guy like that because it just shows that I don't give a fuck what the norm is. I don't give a fuck what anyone else thinks. It's what I want when I want it. And now I want to see if you want the same stuff that I want. And it's it's it shows to me a sign of like, um, like I don't know if power is the right word, but like initiative and like leadership and it's just like a little bit more confidence too and super confident so i think that's why when i said i think the three-day rule is bullshit is because of that because if you wait the three days then there really isn't anything special about you because you're just like oh i'm too self-conscious and i don't want her to do this and i don't want to do that where it's like fuck all that if i want it i'm just gonna go for it that's true because that's kind of like saying like for example if you go clubbing and you give out your number three times and then like you go clubbing on Saturday and it just so happens on Tuesday, all three of the same guys text you. Then there's like no one really stood out. Yeah, everyone's the same. So I guess the bottom line here then is, is just go for what you want. It doesn't matter what the norm is. It's just like be confident in your decision. And do I what think. you feel. And do what you feel, yeah. And be honest, be open, be upfront. I don't think you can ever go wrong with being honest. Yeah, you might lose a chick here and there, but they probably weren't even quality anyway because they didn't see that you were coming at them from a dope angle. Okay, so let's say you give your number out, right? Mm -hmm. They don't text you the first minute, and then within those three days, you're kind of wondering and anticipating, hey, when am I gonna get this text? Why don't you just text the guy? Let's say it was, he, you did give him your number, but okay. he also gave you yours. I mean, he also gave you his. <laughs> right, right, he gave me back my own <laughs> yeah, number. Yeah. 
Um, I've actually, I, I have texted. I have texted. Because I'm just like, hey, what's up? What are you doing right now? So I keep it really friendly. But I think a lot of girls, though, they feel like they don't want to text before the guy texts because that makes them seem too easy. How do you feel about that? Well, I can see that for certain things. For example, in a, in a previous video, um, I, I said how I don't feel that it's like, I, I felt weird making the first move, let's say like on a date, right? Like I feel, for certain things, I feel that it gives off the wrong first impression for a female to do certain things first. But in this situation, I think that just texting or calling is never is never a bad move. You know, I al I always think it's one in the intent in which how in, in how you're doing it, and then two, it's it's just how you carry it out. How do you know all this stuff? <laughs> okay, I'm so innocent compared to you. You were the one that was helping me with all this stuff when I was hitting up on girls in college. No, you would just ask me questions and and I would just answer what I would do. All right, so this is. There's this one don't, girl. Don't flip the script. Okay. Like that. 